What's up, Scavavers? In this video, I answer your questions and it's about time we do a giveaway, right? Stay tuned. Hey there, my name is Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become better and safer skydivers. So if you're new here, join the Skyviber community by subscribing to the channel. And hey, welcome to 2021 with Skydive Vibes. I'm super pumped for this year. Last year was a little bit of a roller coaster in terms of creating content and all that happened in the world. Many travels were canceled, but I'm super pumped because this year I want to double down on content, double down on interacting with the community. So I'm super excited to have you here right now. And for today's video, I wanted to answer your questions and I did ask you to send me your questions on my Instagram so make sure to follow me there as well because this is there that I'm doing daily stories when I can and also where I do ask you to send me your questions and I answer those as well on a regular basis well I try to so make sure to follow me on Instagram to get more of the behind the scene of the channel now that being said we also are starting the year pretty good because I have a giveaway for you today. It's gonna be a great one. It's a free giveaway, so stay tuned because by the end of the video, I'm gonna explain to you exactly how to enter and tell you what are the prizes. So let's go, let's jump into those questions that I have right here on my phone. So first question, how many jumps do you have and what license or ratings do you hold? Well, I actually have about 330 jumps and I have a C license and I just got this last season my coach one rating where I can start to coach solo skydivers in their progression to getting their A license here in Canada. I want to do a video on how to become a coach then an instructor and I'm going to do that probably with a collaboration with a training center for coaches and instructors so stay tuned for that. Next question, what is your personal favorite discipline? Relative work, free fly, angle flying, wingsuit, etc. For me, it's really free flying because that's the discipline that I find where I push my limits a lot. We can do all sorts of positions and things in the sky. So I find it very fascinating that we can use the wind and our body to create those movements in the sky. So that's really my focus for now. But when I got started up to a hundred jumps, I was solely focusing on belly flying because that's really the basic skills that you need to develop in order to, after being able to explore other disciplines, having great belly skills is essential. So I highly recommend that you focus on belly skills first. And I did see that it helped me a lot compared to maybe other skydivers who got their licenses, had basic belly flying skills and jumped right into free fly. We can see that their base is less strong and that could actually catch you up when you are trying, when you're more experienced to become a coach or an instructor because we got to go back to belly flying. So I highly recommend you master belly flying 100, 150 jumps and then you can switch to the discipline you want. Either it's free fly or when you reach 200 jumps, maybe try wingsuit. The next one is very interesting. So remind us how to store our parachute for three to four month break. Well, I would say here in Canada, we're used to do that because we have winter and right now it's pretty, there's a lot of snow outside and it's pretty cold. So we're not jumping. And so I did a full video on the best techniques and tips on how to store your uh, equipment. I did at that point ask riggers and instructors on their best tips about that. But the minimum you'll want to do is to make sure that your lines don't get cocked by the rubber bands so you could remove the lines from the rubber bands and the next 
advice that I would give is to remove your pilot chute from the bottom of your container pouch because that pouch can wear, can get slack and that's not a good thing if we want to avoid premature openings. So giving it a break during the time you're not jumping is a good idea. For more detailed information and tips, you can watch this video right here. Next question. What is the size and model of your main canopy? So my main canopy is a Sabre 2 150 from Performance Design and my reserve canopy is an Optimum 160, again from Performance Design. I do like this canopy a lot. I've been jumping this brand of canopy since I started, so I cannot talk much about other the, how it compares to other brands except what we can find in terms of description online so keep that in mind but I do like this canopy and I can't wait to actually try the Sabre 3 because they did improve some elements that may be missing on the Sabre 2. Now the next question is very interesting and that's a question that I get a lot. We see a lot of people getting pumped and becoming passionate about the sport of skydiving, they are about to start their journey, their AFF course to become a skydiver and they are aiming at making a career or making money out of the sport of skydiving. We need to sit down and talk about that. I actually need to do a full video on that because then you'll better understand really the path of getting paid in the sport, which is kind of a long path, and also the kind of money you can really make being a skydiver. Right now, right here, here's the brief answer. Skydiving? is a passion first and foremost. You will never get rich in being a skydiver and before earning money, you'll have to invest a lot of time, jump a lot and that means spend a lot of money to pay those jumps and pay your progression. So that's kind of an expensive sport. You got to keep that in mind. Before it pays off, you're gonna put a lot of investment in the sport and it won't really amaze you in terms of pay you can get out of that. We hear that some are living out of the sport, whether they are tandem instructor down in the south so they can jump all year, that's important. There's others that are full-time riggers or have a shop to sell gear. So those are maybe the ways you can make a living out of skydiving, but really just being a fun jumper, becoming an instructor, if your job zone is not running full-time all year, it won't be a sustainable career, really. You'll have to have something else on the side. So keep that in mind. It's a passion first and foremost. And in the sport, really, among other skydivers, what we say is that to become a millionaire being a skydiver, you gotta start as a billionaire. It really says it all. So now we have a free fly specific question. I want to focus on free fly. How can I improve my skills having that in mind as a goal? Well, to seriously improve your free fly skills, really the wind tunnel becomes very handy and useful. Because in free flying, you gotta really understand the position of your body in the air and having more than 50 seconds, which is the time of a jump, to actually practice and really try movements in the wind, well, the wind tunnel becomes very handy and the coaches that you can have to help you improve your skills. So I would say maybe try to invest in wind tunnel time and to give you an idea, maybe you'll need an hour to master your back flying, which is the base position in free fly, and then maybe another hour to practice sit flying and lastly maybe two three hours to master head down but then you'll become really a beast in free fly but of course it depends on your skills it depends on your ability to fly and to improve your skills of course so that is another interesting question clear visor and sunnies or tinted visor I have a very strong opinion about that, my personal one, about having either shades or uh, tinted visors. If you're a skydiver, you know that in free fall, we cannot really communicate by voice and with our hands, it can be difficult, especially if you're starting out because then your hands are buzzy, helping you flying really. However, communicating in free fall while you are flying in groups 
is, in my own opinion, very important. And how do we actually do it? How do I do it? And how do I like to see people communicating with me? The eyes. So it's crazy how you can communicate with the eyes in free fall. So for me, even though it's more comfortable for me to have shades when it's sunny, well, I will not wear shades when I'm jumping with a group or someone else, because I know that I don't like jumping with people with full tinted visors or shades because I'm having trouble to communicate with them. I don't understand their feeling at the moment or that we should do something to improve that. That is communicated a lot with the eyes in my opinion. So that's why for me, I would say neither. I won't jump with shades or a tinted visor and I don't like that people do that when they jump with me. Again, it's just a cold skydive where you cannot improve it during the actual free fall. So that's my own opinion. Let me know in the comments what do you think about that? Because I think that's a very interesting topic to explore. Maybe I'll do a full video on that because I think it's important that we can communicate in free fall. Next question, another quick question, then I'm gonna jump into what's next, meaning the giveaway. Last question, when another giveaway? Well, that's a very good question because we're doing it right now. So great, it's now time to talk about our giveaway. And this giveaway is sponsored by LB Ultimators. So it's gonna be very interesting because we'll have three winners and that's actually a free giveaway. So I'm gonna explain to you how to enter. So it's gonna be very interesting to see you guys enter and participate. So the big, big winner will win an ARS2 Ultimator plus a Quattro Audible Ultimator from LB Ultimator. So that's a complete awareness package, one in your ear and one on your wrist to be safe in the sky. So that's very cool. So that's the first winner. The second winner will win a Quattro Audible Ultimator, again from LB Ultimator. Pretty cool. And the last winner of this giveaway will win a Pro Track 2, which is a more advanced Audible Ultimator from LB Ultimator, where you can actually have a logbook in it. So it's a very interesting one. All right, so how to enter this giveaway? We will use a third party app, which is called Gleam.io. So you'll find the link down in the description. You simply have to click and follow the instructions on the page. You'll have to visit some Facebook page, make sure to like them while being there. You'll have to subscribe to the YouTube channel, share a post, and so all those actions will give you points and each point is actually a ticket in the big giveaway. So the more actions you make, the more chances you have to win one of those prizes. So it's gonna be very interesting. The giveaway starts right now and it will last for seven days. So make sure to enter as soon as you can to avoid missing out. I'd like to give a big thank you to LB Ultimators for making this giveaway possible. Make sure to give them a lot of love when you go on their page. I'm gonna announce the winners down in the comments below. I'm gonna pin the comment on top with the names of the winners. And I'll also do a community tab post here on YouTube. So you'll be able to see it go through your homepage as well. All right, so that was great to read your questions and answer those the best of my knowledge. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to follow me on Instagram not to miss our next Ask Me Anything session. And on that, keep jumping, stay safe, and good luck for the giveaway.